In this Medicoast Masterclass, let's learn about allosteric regulation of enzyme. So what does this allosteric regulation of enzyme means? The word itself says allo means different. Okay. And steric means site. So we are talking about a different site. So we know that there is an active site. Okay, and this site is what we call as a different site or allosteric site. So there are two kinds of activity which can happen at the allosteric site. Okay, so one is allosteric activation. So once the activator gets attached to the allosteric site, what will happen is it will bring out conformational changes even on the active site so that the substrate can bind more efficiently. So the rate of the reaction will increase. Okay, now when we have the allosteric inactivation or allosteric inhibitor binding to this allosteric site this will deform the active site and now the substrate cannot bind or the rate of substrate binding will decrease significantly so this is allosteric regulation of site and as you can see that this is a property exhibited by few enzymes which has two you know sites one is a catalytic site where the substrate will bind and one is the allosteric site where the modifier or effector will bind Moving forward, let's look at what kind of graph we will get in, in terms of allosteric regulation. So allosteric regulation we know can be with activator, with inhibitor and without activator or inhibitor. So without activator or inhibitor, this is the curve we are going to get. It's a sigmoid curve. Okay. Now, if with inhibitor, there will be a flattening of the sigmoid curve and with activator, what will happen? This sigmoid curve may turn more towards a hyperbolic curve. So this is what we get as an allosteric regulation enzyme curve. Here few things I want to tell you. First of all, Vmax does not change. Okay, Vmax does not change, which means with activator, with inhibitor, or without activator or inhibitor, the velocity maximum will always be same. So if we keep on increasing substrate concentration, the effect of activator or inhibitor is lost. Okay, so Vmax is same in all the three cases. Second is about KM. So KM, KM we know is the substrate concentration at Vmax level. Okay. So if you see the KM, the KM is maximum with inhibitor. Okay. KM is maximum with inhibitor and minimum with activator. Okay. So this is, you have to remember the KM is minimum with activator, then normal and maximum with inhibitor. So these two points you have to remember in terms of allosteric regulation of enzyme curves. Okay. Now, here are a few terms which you need to also know. One is homotropic allosteric enzyme. So what is homotropic allosteric enzyme? This are those enzymes which have the same modulator and substrate. So the substrate itself is acting as a modulator. And remember, in case of homosteric allosteric regulation, the effect will always be positive. So it will always act as an activator. Then we have got heterotropic allosteric enzyme. Now here what happens, the modulator is different from the substrate. So substrate and modulator are two different uh, molecules. And in such case, the effect can be positive or negative. So in that case, we can have a activator or an inhibitor. The third important term is cooperative binding. So cooperative binding is typically seen in allosteric regulation. And what happens in this is the substrate binding uh, increases the affinity of other substrate. And a very good example will be addition of oxygen to hemoglobin. So the uh, you know the binding of the first oxygen molecule will increase the affinity of hemoglobin towards subsequent oxygen molecule. So what happens is as the substrate binds onto the enzyme, further binding of substrate to the enzyme is actually increased, right? So this is cooperative binding. All these th three terms you have to remember. If you like this recorded video, you will definitely love my live sessions on Unacademy. Every Monday and Friday at 7.30 p.m. I am live at Unacademy and these classes are absolutely free for anyone to attend. To know about these live classes, you can either visit this URL medicoapps.org slash live or you can go to Unacademy and follow me at Unacademy. The way you can follow me on Unacademy is you can search for Dr. Abhishek 10 or Dr. Abhishek Gupta and you can follow me there so that you can attend all these live sessions where I will be teaching basics of biochemistry absolutely based on the latest pattern examination questions.